Hello, Beth the Builder here, and this week I'm doing a DIY review of designing your own doormat. So, I saw this DIY like a while back, and it had been kind of in the back of my mind of something cool to maybe try. However, I am skeptical because I live in a place where there is hardcore winters, so anything that's going to be outside has to like really last and has to be very, very durable. But all you need for this is a doormat. This was the cheapest I could find of $10 for a blank cocoa fiber doormat. And then you just need paint, probably not the crappiest paint imaginable, a brush, and then some kind of stencil if you need that tape, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna use a picture I printed out from the internet and then I cut it out and I'm using that as a stencil. So, but you could do it all freehand. You can do whatever you want. You could put cough right on your doormat and then people come to your door and they know exactly how you feel about visitors. So it's just kind of a cool, pretty simple, you know, nothing fancy DIY. Is it going to last? Is it going to stand up to the test of time? I don't know. We're going to find out. Only time will tell. So this is an indoor outdoor black paint that I'm using. So seems like a decent choice. And then I think what I'm going to end up doing with the design part that I put on it is sealing it with some kind of clear gloss spray. So some kind of sealant. The more hardcore, the better. Something that's for outdoors. Um, like if it's for like patio furniture or decks or anything like that, I think it's probably the way to go if you really want it to last, but we'll find out. Um, cocoa fiber is, you know, porous and it's, you know, it's a fiber from coconuts. So I feel like anything that you would use for maybe, yeah, outdoor furniture, wood is probably going to work okay. I guess we'll find out because that is what I have is just a clear gloss spray. So let's get started. Alrighty, so my doormat's been outside for about a week now and we have had a crap load of rain so that was definitely a pretty good test of whether or not this was going to hold up to water and yeah it's doing really well. Um, the paint again was just interior exterior black paint and then the clear gloss is just you know whatever you can find at your hardware store or the craft store or something like nothing fancy so yeah I'm pretty pleased with it. So in case you didn't know, this is the Nancy Drew silhouette and then the thing that she says all the time in all of the her interactive mystery games that I grew up playing. You try a door in the game and she says, it's locked. So it's kind of become like an ongoing joke um, between me and my family. And it's pretty clever, I think, for a, you know, a door that is literally always locked. So yeah, uh, go design your own doormat. Like everyone has paint and you get clear gloss for like $2 and this doormat was only $10. So it's pretty cheap compared to like buying a fancy doormat that's like 20 or $30, which is stupid because you're gonna wipe your feet on it. I have new videos every Friday, so you can look forward to that. But otherwise you can check out the description where I have all the places to follow me. Like if you wanna buy something in my Etsy shop or send me some money on PayPal, I would appreciate the heck out of those things. But otherwise, just liking and subscribing and like tuning in is super helpful. If you like Nancy Drew, like let me know because I'm a huge nerd for that. <laughs> otherwise, I'll see you next week.